Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for another bonus episode in this series in which I'm sharing our family's experiences in the last year of our daughter Hannah's life, which spanned from February 2008 through February 2009. My desire is to process through the events of those 12 months with a perspective that 16 years has brought and to point listeners to hope in Jesus along the way. I'm grateful you've joined me. This is bonus episode number 121, Isolated But Not Alone, October 28, 2008. Because of her very low immunity, Hannah's doctors ordered her to be isolated. Other than trips to radiation and doctor's appointments, she had to stay home. No school, no church, no going out to eat, no ball games. At that point in her treatment, she wasn't really going out much anyway, so that wasn't too much of a burden. But not only could she not go out, no one could come in. That meant no visits from friends or even extended family. Even that didn't seem to bother her too much. The ongoing radiation treatments were burning the delicate tissues of her throat, and that, combined with increasing fatigue, made her not really feel like visiting with people anyway. Even without the immunity issues, her cancer served as an isolating factor from her friends. Her disease set her apart, made her different, something no teenager wants to be. Hannah and I were together practically 24 hours a day but she was isolated from even me. As hard as I tried, and as much as I wanted to, I could only peer in from the outside. I could not carry her burden for her, not even for a little while, and I couldn't fully understand what she was going through. I could not lie beside her in an MRI tube, take a radiation treatment, swallow her chemotherapy pills, carry the weight of her fatigue, or feel the pain in her throat. I didn't know what it felt like to have my hair come loose in my hands. This was a journey she had to make alone. But she wasn't alone, not really. God was with her every step of the way. He had redeemed her and called her by name. There's no other explanation for how she could have accepted everything that happened to her with such grace and peace. I'm so thankful that even though she was isolated... She was never truly alone.